Hello everyone. I am quickly redoing a video here because, you know, I review my videos from time to time and I realized that this one had some kind of screeching noise in it. Um, I don't know what happened. It's, it's a possibility that one of the cables or something got moved and it created a, a static weird noise in the video. But anyway, um, this video is about attitudes around you and you using a wheelchair. So this was an important topic apparently. So I want it to be, you know, the best video it can be um, <clears throat> for those who, who are interested. Uh, sometimes people don't get too far down and so they, they don't see the video. But uh, this one is important because it's really important for you to understand why you are in the wheelchair because other people will not have an understanding of why you're in the wheelchair. You know, oh, you're strong enough, you can just get up and walk. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't be using a wheelchair. Who told you you should be using a wheelchair? <laughs> Those people are crazy, you know, and, and it just gets really wild with, with people's comments. And so I just wanted to say that um, to start off, it's really important for you to understand uh, because other people will not, you know, family members or your neighbors or your cousin, you know, they're just going to say, oh, you're too young to be in a wheelchair. You're too pretty to be in. I hate that one. You're too pretty to be in a wheelchair. <laughs> I hate that one. So, you know, or, you know, it looks like you're dying because you're in a wheelchair. <laughs> I think my family thinks that I'm dying at this point, but it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter and should not matter the opinion of others. It does affect us a little bit in our emotions in terms of, you know, they shouldn't be giving an opinion to begin with, but um, it's none of their business and they should respect the fact that you're using a medical tool to get around. And that's what it is. A wheelchair is just a medical tool for you to get around. And, you know, what do I, what do I understand about my wheelchair? I understand that this wheelchair helps me uh, keep my pain down. That, you know, days in which I am in excruciating pain, this wheelchair can save my little tushy and <laughs> help me get around and still do the things that I need to do that um, I have pride in the wheelchair I use because it looks nice, I keep it clean, all those kind of things. I take pride in using it, so I'm not embarrassed. And sometimes that embarrassment or that concern, that over-concern about what other people are going to think, you know, overwhelms us, and it shouldn't. You know, um, we need to look at this in a different angle so that when people come up to us or our family members come up to us with their, you know, their comments that, you know, we are, you know, dead set on and understand, have a clear understanding as to why I am using this wheelchair. And they are not using it. I am. <laughs> and it's very important for me, for my health, <coughs> for my freedom, for, for my functioning, my daily functioning, this wheelchair is really crucial. And that's something that family members sometimes don't get or don't understand. And uh, they might understand someday, but at the moment when this wheelchair is new and you're starting to use it, you're gonna get all kinds of weird comments. <laughs> I just wanted you to know that. <laughs> And just let it go over. Let it just wash over because um, you are, you have made some important steps to be able to say yes to a wheelchair, whether it's manual or power. I don't care. But um, you have made some important steps in, in saying, okay, I got to do this. This is important. The doctors are recommending it. In therapy, people are recommending it. So, you know, you've had to do your work in terms of, I'm going to use this wheelchair. <laughs> and that's not an easy task. 
So for other people to come around and say, ah, just, just get up and walk, or you don't need that wheelchair, you've been just fine, you know? And they don't, they don't know the person's plight. They don't understand, um, you know, the, what you've been through what you've been through in terms of your illness or your accident. So they need to knock it off <laughs> and, and show some respect, uh, really. Uh, it's not easy to take on uh, something like this and uh, be able to tolerate. I think it becomes a, a, a strengthening that we tolerate comments from other people. And um, I think, you know, my, I, I don't know. I think it's easier to get a scooter, you know, when I travel to go see my family than to get a wheelchair. Um, <clears throat> but hopefully, you know, gradually people around you will understand. I think these comments just kind of flow away. These comments, you know, really uh, just kind of stop happening after a while. Uh, I know that people around me, you know, are sometimes worse, were, you know, a little shot. Oh, why are you in that wheelchair? <laughs> Yesterday you weren't. <laughs> Is something wrong? <laughs> you know, so it's, it's all these kind of comments that are going to come your way. So I just wanted to alert you if you're going into the direction of getting a wheelchair, do it. You know, if the therapist is recommending it, do it. If the doctor is strongly recommending it, then do it. Do it for you. This is for you, not for anybody else. Everybody else is going to have their weird opinions or their weird comments, and that's what they are. They're just weird and, and lack of education in terms of what you're going through. So if you have the medical field recommending that you use a wheelchair because X, Y, Z, or you have no option other than getting in that wheelchair, um, do it. Do it because it's going to benefit you. This is not for anybody else. This wheelchair is going to give you freedom. It's going to give you the tools you need to... Um, Continue to be independent. Because otherwise you'd probably be in a bed and people would have to come and help you out. But being in a wheelchair allows you to get around and still do the things you need to do. So I wanted to redo this video <laughs> get this screeching noise out of there. <laughs> I won't delete the other one, but I certainly wanted to put this one up. And um, so you don't have to hear that weird screeching sound. And so thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much for spending a few moments with me. And if you want to help the channel, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to do a like. Feel free to share. Feel free to put down your own comments. Those are always helpful. And you can say, this is the way I dealt with my aunt. This is the way I dealt with my annoying brother. This is the way I dealt with my mom. <laughs> Because I'm sure many of us out there have had to, you know, come back with something. Come back with a, a phrase of, you don't realize how much this wheelchair is helping me. <laughs> and I'm, I'm hoping that someday you'll be happy about that. <laughs> so anyway, good luck to you. And remember, this is about you. It's not about everybody else. So the attitudes, you're going to get them but hopefully they uh, will uh, subside at some point. And uh, you'll feel better about that, and they'll feel better about understanding how much this wheelchair does help you on a daily basis.